Richard, you sexy, devilish looking man, you. Uh, you're too kind. I see, I heard, I heard how great you were. That's why I had to come over here. My friend John, he's like, oh yeah, that guy's the best interviewer. Really? That? Really? Really? You should capitalize on that. SLTV, baby. That's how we do it. First of all, congratulations on being involved with such an amazing film, which is actually based on a true story. What I'm asking everyone is, does that entice you, knowing that it's a, it's based on a true story? Uh, it depends, because sometimes that's limiting, do you know? Uh, but in this, you feel like you're you're kind of you have to portray exactly how it went down. Type. Of yeah. Thing. Well, you have to be faithful to it. Yeah. But also, um, uh, my, in, in my in my 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 circumstance on this film, my character, I don't I don't even know if he if he was uh, really a a real guy, if the if the guy really existed, or if he was uh, made up as part of the you know dramatic. Right. Content. So you never got to meet your character because I know a lot of these people they got to meet the characters they're portraying. No, no. If I, I mean, even if even if he did exist, he, I think he was he was dead. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I haven't seen the film yet. You know. So what? Well, what are you? <laughs> There's the dead giveaway. Uh, no pun intended. Hey, no, I didn't say when he died. I just said he's probably right. dead. Now, what 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 character uh, were you playing in this film? Uh, I play Vince, who is uh, a gangster. Uh, works for the character uh, Mickey Levine, played by James Con. And then later on, I partner up with Oded's Fair's character. I was, I was working with uh, Con. It was pretty awesome. He's uh, you know just quite a quite a. An experience just to to be in a scene with him and like uh, you know uh, like some someone who's such an icon and I like watched him all my life and I'm like oh I'm in a scene with this guy oh wow I gotta <laughs> here's an interesting thing was it really you know when you meet an icon like someone you look up to your whole life how is that feeling when you finally are like right in front of him and you get to work with him well uh, I kind of have to forget about that because otherwise I'd just be intimidated, you know what I mean? So it's it's important to put that aside and, and go, okay, this is a human being I'm playing in a scene with. Otherwise it just wouldn't wouldn't work. But you know, quite honestly when I first met him I was like, Oh my god, it's James Conn. What am I <laughs> Are you on the whole social media front? Facebook, Twitter? Yeah, yeah, I'm on Twitter Love it. and let's, Facebook. Let's yeah. plug it in. What we do at SLTV is we help connect fans uh, from Twitter and Facebook with the actual stars. So I would love people to start following you and figure out what you're up to next. Yeah, sure, sure. So my my Twitter my Twitter uh, account yeah, is that, sure. yeah. It's yeah. Richard Gunn Inc. Like uh, Incorporated. So Richard Gunn Incorporated, but it, Richard Gunn, INC. Cool. And you moderate it yourself, right? It's not like someone else writing your tweets? No, no, I don't have a service. And you'll be able to tell because my tweets are few and far between. Oh, are they? Yeah, yeah. It's like, I, I was talking to somebody about this the other day, and um, it's kind of a... Some people, I think, are really into it, and they're like, hey, man, I'll tell everybody what I'm doing. I forget all about it. I'm like, oh, I'm at the, what am I doing something, uh, I'm at the, the, the gym or whatever. People will tweet all day about that, and I'm like, oh, I'm at the gym. I don't know. What do you, why do you want to hear about that? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, it's true. But you know what? It's a great tool to, to, to tell people what you're up to next. Are you working on anything else right now that we should be looking out for? Yeah, right now I'm, uh, d I'm starting on Thursday, actually, a film called Treachery, uh, starring Michael Bean and Jennifer Blanc. And I worked with Jennifer Blanc uh, years ago on a series called Dark Angel. So it's really great to work with her again. And Michael Bean, of course, another icon. Yeah, uh, he's awesome. A little reuniting with, uh, with some co-stars? Yeah, yeah, totally. That's awesome. And what do you play on that, uh, on that film? Well, I play Jennifer's husband, uh, who is, he's, this is a very different character from this film. Um, very, very nice guy, blue blood uh, activist, um, and very charming. You know, cool individual. I like it. Well, definitely make sure you look out for this guy right here. Super busy dude. Now, what we do is all of our fans are asking the stars today in light of the film. It's an Israeli immigrant who's searching for the American dream. If you weren't an actor, what would be your American dream job? Oh, man. If I wasn't an actor, uh, I, I, I had often said I'd be, be a classical guitarist. I think that's that would be a really cool job. Um, I play, I play, but uh, not not professionally. And um, I also I also would have got been interested in physics. Yeah. So maybe like somehow mesh the two? No, no, I don't think so. Learn the physics of like the the, the guitar string? No, probably not. Probably not a, like a sound physicist. But no, um, I I. I 
I would be more more interested in in like astrophysics. Cool. Yeah. Wow, that's definitely something you do not hear on the red carpet often. Really? <laughs> definitely not. Speaking of you know astrophysics and everything, um, this um, it's it's a book that tells you all about your personality. You were born on the day of the energetic transmission. Okay. And here's your strength. So your strength, you are. I want you to read it up. Attractive. Yes, he is. I opened the interview up with this attractive man over here. Convincing, mentally active. That's true. Mentally active. Hey, what are your weaknesses? Hasty, uh, possibly. Self-sacrificing. Self-unaware. Uh, yeah, to an extent. I think. I think. I think it. it it's got me. Hi, I'm Richard Gunn. You're watching me on SecretLanguage.tv.